So here I am in Hergada, right in front of the uh, continental uh, Hergada, which is where we're staying, for this leg of our Egyptian odyssey. And uh, it, uh, it's uh, not the biggest hotel. There are larger ones here. Some of them are huge, very nice. It's rated as a five star. I would give it more of a mm, four. But it's uh, the people here are friendly. The food's, I'd say, seven out of 10. And uh, we've been having a really good time. Our room's nice, we like our room. And uh, the beach here is nice. Unfortunately, we're here in January. Heads up, fellow travelers. The water is cold here in January. The Red Sea, we're on the Red Sea and it's cold. We went snorkeling, but we, uh, we wore wetsuits and kind of took the fun out of it. But uh, the snorkeling here in the Red Sea and the diving is the best uh, in the world, you may have heard. So uh, let's, without any further ado, Let's go and have our uh, walk through. Andale, andale. So here we are out front. We got one fountain out of three working. I don't know, no comment. Um, they are in the process of painting the hotel, so. I don't know if it'll show up on the film or not. It looks like it needs it. It looks like it needs it. There's a spa, there's the spas over there. Are we gonna make it over now? We've been going to some spa appointments. Very nice. Bargain for your spa price. Unlike a hotel uh, in many countries where prices are set here, Prices are negotiable. Quantity is what they want, quantity. So we got uh, a few uh, massages and uh, some kind of a Turkish treatment where they slathered me with, I don't know, chocolate or something. It was very strange, but my wife loved it. So I'm sure most, most ladies would like it. And for couples, it was really nice. So here we are. We're gonna go into the entranceway, pass the metal detector. Hello, how are you? And here we are in the lobby. Kind of it's sort of a sub lobby because there's not much here. A little sit seating area here. <sighs> now we're into the uh, the main lobby. I could turn the light on, it's pretty dark in here. It's like the world's biggest chandelier, I swear to God. So it's a, it's rather a luxurious lobby. Most of them are here in Hergada. Hergada has become very, very popular for the Europeans coming over. We have a lot of Germans here, a lot of French, a few Russians, not that many. And of course, the native Egyptians also. It's a nice break uh, this time of the year. As I say to everyone that I've met, Oh, it's still cold in the water. And they say to me, well, it's better than Norway or it's better than France. So, and it's a short flight for them. It's a quick jumper. So if you're in Europe uh, this time of the year and you need a break from the nine degree weather, come down here and you'll get 20. There's much to see. So her cat is located on the coast, about six hour, six and a half hour drive from Cairo, so it's a bit of a distance. So we're gonna go into the cafeteria, as I like to call it. They call it the buffet. Yeah, it's fairly typical, like all hotels. Fairly typical. They make you pay for orange juice, though. That kind of bugs me. But they have other juices for free. They have, I have to say, hand it to the Egyptians. They have the best dessert items and breads and pastries that I personally have experienced. Really nice. Curious little girl looking at me. Can't say I blame her. If I saw somebody doing this, I'd be curious too. So shooting here has been fun. Sometimes it's not a problem. We're gonna do this and we're gonna go out a different door than we came in. So you can see there was two areas here. It's a little on the dark side in the day. Coming 
outside. Hello. Hello. Here we have the coffee machines. You gotta help yourself. Everybody's sitting down here. Here's an Arabian lady with her babies and her cool dude. And here's where uh, they might make omelets in the morning and they might make hamburgers at lunch. We've been ordering our hamburgers separately. So without further ado, let's get to the pool. So here you can see the inside of the hotel a little bit different. Really Egyptian style, though we don't have any domes. So it's a little different, almost Moroccan. And these wooden windows that you can, if you can make them out, wooden window enclosures, I guess would be more accurate. Uh, our room is in one of those, behind one of those, kind of nice. Gives you some privacy, you know, rather than just a window against a wall. And uh, really adds a lot to the detail, as you can see ahead here, of the hotel in general. Okay, here's a question for you. Have you ever stayed anywhere in your life that has this many rules for the pool? I have not. Many, many rules. Many rules, yes. Just pointing that out. There's 21 rules for the pool. It's crazy. That was Tanya, of course. Tanya and I traveled everywhere together. We have a great time. She's doing a lot of the still photography for the Rusty Traveler now. She has a great eye. So it uh, helps me a lot. So here's the pool. Oh, once again, it's not as luxurious as a lot of pools in the world, but you know what? It gets the job done. It gets you wet. There's a swim up bar. See, here's the thing. I guess I should mention perhaps if you've never been to Egypt. This is a Muslim country. So notice the swim up bar. Yes, you can get alcohol here. But there's nobody here getting hammered and falling over, that kind of thing. It's pretty tame. Might be different at different resorts, but it is a Muslim country. So it's, it certainly has a bit of a different vibe. But if you want to get away and just relax, it's a pretty good place. This is the Terrace Bar and Grill. Hello. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Good? Yeah, it was very good. Yes, nice. Very, thank you very much. You're welcome. That's our waiter. So here's the terrace restaurant. This is part of the pool bar, and then it's like the terrace restaurant on the other side. Everything is very, very clean here. I'm going to tell you that. A lot of people said, oh, you're going to Egypt. Isn't it really dirty? No, it's not really dirty. Cairo is a bit of a different story, but uh, Hergata is spotless, absolutely spotless. Everywhere we've been in Hergata. Uh, we went down to the old city, okay, it's a little more rock and roll, but it's not really dirty. We went to the old city where the Egyptian shop, uh, which was fun. Suddenly the prices are 10% of what we're paying, but uh, how many Egyptian souvenirs can you really buy? There we went, just to give you an idea, we went to a ladies shoe store and they had ladies shoes for five dollars. All of them. There was nothing more expensive than five dollars. So let's go take a look at the beach. I'll do some stills of our room. It's a mess right now, so. I have to go in there and get some steels for you, but it's okay. Very roomy, very big, marble floors, nice bathroom, big tub, no complaints. So here we are on the beach at the Continental Hotel in Hergata. I walk down here. So you might ask, what are these blue things? They are screens for the wind. Hergata is known to be windy, but by utilizing these screens, it'll give you um, calm in a storm, you could say. You can see the wind swooping pretty good if you see the flags and the palm trees, but you can sit in relative calm isolation 
behind a screen. Now, the Red Sea. What's the Red Sea like? Is it red? <laughs> yes, sometimes the year it does have a algae bloom, causes it to go red in some areas. That's how it got the name. But it is so incredibly blue and turquoise. It's beautiful. I'm gonna say it rivals Cancun, if not better. That we went out on a boat on a, a snorkeling uh, event and it was absolutely incredibly beautiful. The water is clean, uh, it's plentiful. The boats here that you take out are not rinky-dinky kind of crappy things. They're really nice big boats. So if you go out on a snorkeling thing, you know, you're going out in a 60-foot power yacht. It's pretty darn nice compared to a lot of places in the world we've gone, such as Thailand, where you're afraid you're <laughs> gonna make it back to shore sometimes. So here's the beach of the Continental. Must be lunchtime because everybody has disappeared. I think it's lunchtime. So it's a nice beach. Nothing's crowded here, you know. We are here uh, in January, but there's a, a average amount of people. We're not really crowded, which is nice. And the people here, like I say, are very friendly. So that's about all I got to show you here. We might get some footage of a, the Italian restaurant we go to uh, tonight. There's an Italian restaurant here. And there was also a Brazilian restaurant right on the water, which is closed during the day, so I can't really show you that. We had a romantic dinner. It was pretty good. Lobster, yum yum. Can't complain about that. I could, but who would listen? So here you go. If you get a chance, come to the Red Sea. Stay at the Continental for one of these other fantastic hotels. Uh, it's a great way to finish off a trip to Cairo and the pyramids of Giza. And uh, we did a now, now cruise too, so if you've been hustled around on tours, before you go home, come to Hergana for a few days and just unwind and don't book any tours here. Just chill out uh, and really soak in the country. It's thick with culture, really thick with culture and uh, you'll enjoy yourself. That's it for now for the Rusty Traveler from the Continental in Hergada. Take care.